In this video, we're going to show you how to create a fill in the blank question using H5P interactive video. Now here we're using Moodle. We're on our Moodle course page. And what I've done is I've already added the interactive here. So once your interactive has been added, we're going to go back into the settings. So in our interactive video editor, um, we're going to go here to add more interactions. You'll see in the previous video we have added two fill in the blanks already. So you'll see this fill in the blank that we have as well as the one with the circle. Both have um, that blank space on the right hand side for that type of question where you need an image in the background. Now for this video we're going to show you how to create a fill in the blank question where you don't need an image at all so the question is actually going to take up the entire space on the screen. So when I scroll ahead to about 25 seconds in the video that's where we have um, a blank screen that I've created at the time of editing the video. So this blank screen right here is where I know that I want to put my question. Now my question is write the word name for the following fractions. So the idea is we want the student to read the question in numerical format, so 3 over 4, and then there's going to be a blank right beside that where they have to write the word name for that fraction. So the answer of that would be 3 quarters or 3 fourths. And then subsequently they also have a question where they need to write the word name for 1 over 5 and 3 over 7. We're going to go ahead and create that question now. So I'm going to scroll up here and I'm going to find my fill in the blanks. So I'm going to click on that. And here I always recommend pausing the video and letting it run for maybe two or three seconds. Let's do um, two seconds for this one. Here we're going to display it as a poster because we want it to take up the full size of the screen. And in our task description we're going to say fill in the blanks. So when we get down to the text box here, the line of text, so right in this box right here, that's where we're going to add our questions. You'll see you can toggle the instructions on or off. If you check out the instructions here at the top, you'll see that um, the correct answer has an asterisk star in the front and behind. And as well, alternative answers are separated with a forward slash. So you'll see here browser slash web browser. Now what that means is there are two correct answers in this question here. So the first correct answer is browser and then the second correct answer is web browser. So if a student types in either of those because we've separated it with a slash that means um, the program will accept either of those as the correct answer. As well, if you want to take it one step further, you can add a textual tip using a colon. So you do that right in front uh, of the tip, which comes right after your answer. So your answers are here, and then if you want to add the tip, you can put a colon and then add the tip. So the tip that they added here is something you use every day. And then they finish it off with that second asterisk. Now knowing that my first question is going to have two correct answers, let's go ahead and program that in. So I'm going to hide my instructions. So the question is, write the word name for the following fractions. Example, three fifths. So the first question is going to say three over four. The second is one over five. And the third is three over seven. So here you'll see that I've only added my text question in. Now we need to add the correct answers. And when you add those answers in, the program will automatically create a blank on the screen where the student can then go in and fill in the answer. We want the student to write the word name for the fraction three over four. So I'm just gonna add a couple spaces and I'm gonna write the answer. So we want them to type in three quarters. Now knowing that there are two correct answers, I'm going to put a slash here. Three fourths is the other correct answer. So because we're working with fractions, when we write fractions out um, as words, we always put a dash in between. So that's important for the student to remember. So what I'm going to do is actually add a little tip here. I'm not going to use the tip where if they hover the question the tip pops up. I'm just going to put it right in the instructions here. So the tip that I want to add is be sure to include a dash between the two words. Now coming back to question one, the last thing I'm going to do is add my stars or asterisks 
around the answers. So what that tells H5P is these are the correct answers in between these two asterisks. Now the second part of the question, 1 over 5, what I'm going to do is add my two spaces and I'll type in 1 fifth. And for 3 over 7, 3 sevenths. Now what I'll do is I'll just quickly check my spelling and that's very important when you're doing fill in the blank because we for sure want the students to spell those correctly. So now that you've programmed in your questions and answers, we're going to click done and see what that looks like. And as you'll see here, when you add your interactive, it shows up as a small square here. And what I want to do now is move that square to the top left hand corner and actually expand it so that it fills up the whole space on the video. There we go. The three blanks have been created um, now that we've programmed that. So let's go ahead and test it now. If you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you click save and display. And now we'll see those pre two previous interactives we created are there. And the one that we just created is right here along the timeline. So I'm just going to scroll ahead on the video and stop at this interaction right here. So this is the one that we just created. Now let's test it out. Let's write in our answers. So we click check and all three are correct. Now because we had two correct answers for the first one, so the first one it could have been written as three quarters or three fourths. I just want to test that one more time to make sure that both answers are registering as correct. Now what I'm going to have to do is hit refresh on my page and change the answer to that. So instead of three quarters, we want to write three fourths. So I'm going to check those answers. Three fourths is also registering as a correct answer. So that's perfect. And now that we've finished our testing, when we clicked save and display, we know that it saved uh, all of our changes in our Moodle course. So that is how you create a fill in the blank question using H5P interactive video.